Hello friends, welcome to our today's session. In this series, we are learning Azure Data Engineering with Azure Databricks. And in our today's video, we will cover a method on how to read a file or else how to get the data that is stored in a ADLS account using SAS token. SAS is nothing but shared access signature token which provides you more flexibility when it comes to restricting the access. Uh, so in our earlier video, in our method one, we had seen how to read a data uh, from the file that is in ADLS using access key. And also we had learned the limitation that it has when it comes to restricting the access. And uh, in this video, we will uh, see how the SAS token helps us in overcoming that limitation that access key has. And in this video, particularly we will learn uh, how to generate the SAS token from portal and also we will learn how we can configure the uh, generated token in Databricks and use it uh, to read the file from ADLS. So that is for our today's uh, video. Uh, that being said, let us quickly move ahead to the portal and start generating the SAS token. But before that, in our channel, uh, under our community page, uh, we are often posting the quiz related to Azure Data Engineering and also we are uh, posting the Udemy Pay courses uh, for free. So I hope you guys are visiting the community page uh, to take part of these quizzes and also to enroll yourself in the free Udemy courses uh, that helps you in learning the new technologies. And we do also have a Telegram channel which I will give in the description. Uh, go ahead and join in that as well. Let's move ahead to a portal. Hope you guys are able to see the screen. And uh, to start off with, uh, let us generate a SaaS token. So for that, I need to select a storage account. If the option is not available here, you can go ahead and type in here and it will display storage accounts. Choose that and go ahead and select the storage account for which you need to generate a SaaS token. Let me go ahead and select it. And then uh, here in left side, if you scroll down, you can see something called network plus security, networking security plus networking. So under this, you will see option share access key and then share the access signature. So last time we used the access key method and now it is time for us to use shared access signature. So let me click on this and collapse it and we will have a options to be selected and it asks us for allowed services so for what are all the services you need this SAS uh, token to be enabled so either a block file queue or table so let me enable it for uh, uh, blob and file and then uh, allowed service type uh, for now i will select all you can also go ahead and select only for the particular uh, object that is uh, needed and here I will uh, select only the required options. I don't need the uh, write option or delete. Uh, by default, if I select read, the list option will also be enabled. I mean, like here I can uncheck, but still from Databricks side, I can list the files. So other things I'm not changing. And one more thing that we have to note here is we can also set up the expiry uh, date for this SAS token that we are generating. So here you can see, uh it is around uh, i think it is around the eight hours of window so within this eight hours of window uh, my sas token will expire so we can uh, change the date as well and time as well and we can set it to a year long uh, sas token or else to a day long sas token uh, and we can share it with the users for them to have access for the particular day or else a particular year around and then uh, if you wanted to allow some ip addresses you can uh, give it and uh, others are self-explanatory. Let me go ahead and uh, generate the SAS and connection string. Let me click on it. And scroll down. Uh, here you can see the options on uh, connection string and SAS token and uh, blog service SAS URL, file service SAS URL. So since I selected a couple of options blob and file it has uh, given me the url for those couple of things and then uh, this sas token uh, is the one which we are going to use in our 
uh, job in our Databricks uh, notebook. So let me copy this and put it in Notepad. And also let us go ahead to a Databricks environment and start the workspace. So let us give it a couple of minutes to start the cluster. So now the cluster is up. Let me check once. Hope you are able to see the screen as well. So this is the method one that we saw. And let us move ahead to trace method. Start access signature token. So here I am initiating all the variables, storage account, uh, storage container that we have. And then the file name that we have inside the container. Inside this container, I have a couple of files. One is sales underscore track, and uh, another one is customer dot uh, csv. I think. So here, if we are using SAS token, then we can't use ABFSS file system. Uh, we can only use uh, a block file system, which is uh, uh, WASPS. Note down that alone, and let me print the file. So till now we didn't configure the SAS. So let me just uh, give uh, DB util uh, command percentage FS and let me try to read the file. I mean, sorry, let me put WFS itself. So when we put the ABFSS, it says uh, failure to initialize the configuration. So even for uh, W. Uh, Yes, WASBS also it will say the same. So now let us uh, copy the SAS account that we generated and paste it here, SAS token. Let me run this. And for us to configure it in the Databricks part, uh, we have a configuration option, spark.conf.set. And inside this, uh, we have to give this fs dot azure dot sas dot storage container name dot storage account name and then dot blob core windows dot net and then we have to pass the sas token. So this is how we will uh, configure in Spark. I mean in Databricks. So I had run it. Now let me try running the same head command that I had given above. Uh, if you remember, we have enabled the read access and then the list access. Uh, so let me give head. So it displays the results, whereas in the previous state it showed the error. And let me also give the upper sellers command as well, which is listing the file so it is also able to list the file so let us go ahead and uh, read the file path so if you don't have access it will throw error here itself stating like you don't have access to read the file so it is uh, delimited with pipe symbol so it will it is going to give me a single row, a single row with pipe delimiter. So this is how we will uh, uh, use SAS token to read the file. And uh, also we can use uh, HTTP method as well. So here you can see something like uh, blob SAS URL and it gives us the HTTPS link with the uh, SAS token. So let me copy this. Uh, this is a URI method, access using URI method. Uh, for this, uh, we can't use a normal uh, PySpark script. We have to use a normal Python script. Uh, this is something kind of uh, request and response kind of thing. So I just wanted to show you guys there is a method uh, through which we can uh, uh, read these things as well. So that's why I'm uh, posting this as well. So I am uh, uh, running this URI and then I'm setting a request. So for this, I'm using URL dot uh, uh, request and then uh, importing IO package as well, input output package as well. So let me run this. Uh, we have to give the file name as well in the path. So let me copy the file name. Uh, create HTTP URL in such a way 
so that uh, it can access the file directly. Learn spark hyphen container slash. So let me uh, put it in the right way. So we have to put it here. So hopefully now it will work. Let me run this. And now uh, it got through. And let me display the output for you guys, uh, the blob data. So with this, we can serialize, uh, uh, or I mean, sorry, we can parallelize the things and then we can uh, uh, convert it as a Spark data frame. Uh, just for you to understand, that is another method. Uh, also, we can uh, mount uh, the path using the SAS token. That will be another video for this series. Uh, hope you guys understood this concept. Please go ahead and try it and let me know if you face any issues. I'm happy to help you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content. Uh, don't forget to join the Telegram channel. Thank you.